First, I want to start about study life in Korea. And as you know, like a lot of people keep asking, like, there's a lot of country why, why you choose to study in Korea. And uh, there's a lot of questions such as, like, do you like K-pop? Or is this because of K-dramas that are famous all around the world? Or Korean food? Either because of there's a lot of traveling place, especially Jeju Island. And then, uh, before I go deep down into the uh, education in Korea, I want to talk briefly about uh, what was my major back then in Cambodia. Like, uh, I majored in accounting and finance in Cambodia when I was in bachelor degree. And after that, like, uh, I, I worked in Cambodia for three years. At the same time, I studied in the evening as a uh, and the major was international studies that we commonly know as the international relations for three years. And when I was a uh, junior, I got a scholarship to Korea in 2017 through KGSP that currently, that all you guys know that uh, GKS, Korean Government Scholarship. And at the time I applied through, there, there were two uh, method that you can apply like embassy track and university track and I apply KGSP through embassy track and uh, you have three options that you uh, when you apply through embassy track when I pass the school I have no choice or options to go to which language school that I can choose for uh, I apply Pointed or I assigned it to Inha Language School. Like, let, let me talk briefly about what is a KGSP or GKS scholarship. Uh, it's fully funded of by the government, Korean government scholarship, and you have to spend one year for Korean language, and then uh, two years for master degree if you study master, and four years for bachelor degree. Uh, for one year of Korean language, you cannot like. Uh, like you have to get at least topic three, like Korean proficiency test, just like TOEFL or IELTS, in order to pursue master degree for uh, two years. So at that time, actually, uh, I stress a bit because of uh, I before I came to Korea, I know nothing about Korean language and about Korean culture. It's totally zero for me because of the environment and school, I have to adapt myself quickly to Korean language. Uh, luckily, I met a lot of friends, a lot of foreigners, friends, because of KGSP is, uh, is the combina combination of the uh, foreigners. So, for the first year, I traveled a lot. Also, I studied a lot of uh, Korean language, and luckily, I got topic level five to pursue master degree. And first year, I spent my education in Inha language school. As you know, like Inha is located in Incheon, and normally people know like Incheon has only airport, but uh, not really. Uh, if you guys watch the K drama of Kim Bok Ju, I, I think so that movie film in In High University and this the like football field is one of my favorite because I always walk around the football field at night as an exercise. And then uh, there is the two big airplane around the In High University campus and. I always picnic under the uh, flight, the plants, because there is a shade during spring, and the campus is so beautiful. So why there is Korean air air plants in the campus? Because like uh, there is department to train flight attendants. That is why I think like there is some kind of the joint venture or some related to the Korean air. Uh, for the first year, I think I met a lot of friends and I studied a lot in Korean language by uh, there is culture, culture day for in high university and there are also like field trip uh, once per semester. So the school will brought you to like cultural cultural village or brought you to amusement park or there is some uh, DIY 
that you can do during school activities. Um, I think like at that time I stress a lot because I'm not sure if I can get topic three. As you know, like I'm started from zero, but like uh, the more you travel, the more you wonder about Korean culture, and then the more you want to deep down about the uh, Korean language and what you want to know more. For example, food from the history and Hanok. So uh, that's all I learned from the textbook and I experienced outside. Uh, one interesting thing is like uh, my Korean is not so good, but I can listen even though I have topic five. Why? Because like during the class, even though I studied Korean, but I still speak in English. <laughs> and then after that, I pursue, uh, I got topic five and I allowed to study master degree in SKK GSP. Uh, before that, I want to indicate some part is uh, in embassy track, you can choose through uh, three universities when you uh, apply through the embassy track of the KGSP scholarship. And I pass all three universities and SKK GSP, as we know, as Song Kyung Kwan University was my top uh, top one in my list that I applied for. And then uh, I chose three among them. And that university all taught in English. And normally master degree, it lasts for two years. You have to study two years for a master degree. But SKKGSP, you study only one and a half year. But uh, within one and a half year, you have to finish 45 credits. Uh, before. SKKGSP really start in, during the fall, se fall season. We have the, how uh, we can say, team meeting or gathering, gathering to improve our friendship with professor. So for the first week before we start our session, I, we went to the Kangwondo to the rafting. And then uh, I want to introduce you uh, about the school campus in SKK GSP. This is fall season. This is winter and our building of international building is right next to the uh, this old building of the uh, Korean. And this is the fall season. And you guys like like uh, descendant of the sun, who is that? Uh, Kim, oh no, no. Song, Song Jong Ki, right? And then he also filmed movie in the uh, no drama in SKK GSP, like in Song Song Hyung Kwan, which, which is located in our university in SKK GSP. And I wanna uh, talk about my study life in SKK GSP. There, like uh, for the first semester, it quite half rough like it quite tough for me because uh, as you know like Cambodian and Korean study style is quite different and SKKGSP is uh, totally follow American study style so uh, most of the time we do our own research in the library and we have to communicate a lot with professor and during uh, study we have to like answer the question participation is very important uh, during the class. And then uh, for the first semester, we have it, we call it foundation. All of the students have to study the same, uh, may, the same courses that are arranged by the school. Like we have seven weeks for the four courses, and then uh, one week for intensive week, and then for another four weeks for the courses, we call it totally one semester. And uh, it's a bit difficult because like, we not really have a long vacation. For winter vacation, we have only three weeks. Like at that time, I couldn't even go home <laughs> because of that short vacation. And then we came back uh, to spring. Spring, we start to have elective course that if you want to concentrate on 
um, management if you want to concentrate on finance or marketing that you can choose and it was fun because there is a lot of uh, how to say it, real life not not really real life it's just like I remember that I studied marketing management something we have a real game planning like uh, strategic management that uh, how many bicycle at the time I remember like how many bicycle and you, we have to form a team and compete our team with another and they will arrange all our result during that part and then during the semester I joined the LG Global Challenger it was like it allowed all of the university students in Korean to join this program. They like they there is no uh, limitations of uh, who study in Korean or like there is no limitation if you, either you study bachelor or master degree. You all can join uh, this program and me and my friends, four of us, we form a team to join this program and our topic was like a vegetarian, about vegetarian and luckily our team won was the top 14 among all the hundreds team that joined this program but uh, unfortunately our team didn't proceed at that time because like in SKKGSB we have the global exchange experience or global exchange program to experience uh, different school or different culture in in foreign countries and at the time uh, all of our classmates we visited Cambodia and I'm not sure if it is a good idea or bad idea for me because like I come from Cambodia and I of course I want to visit another countries but yeah they chose Cambodian and then uh, because of that reason we gave up this global challenger we didn't proceed to another level and then uh, I also learned a lot from this school I think like back then in Cambodia I didn't study that much or study that hard because of uh, less homework be friendly speaking, but in SKKJSB, uh, we have to di we did a lot of team meeting, we did a lot of team assignment and individual assignment. We even spend time until two or three midnight in the library and uh, for the assignment and uh, prepare for exams. So uh, I also work as a teaching assistant at SKK GSB, um, I responsible in accounting for one semester. And after that, I graduated from SKK GSB in 2000. Like basically, it should be like February 2021, but uh, because of the school is officially graduated in the end of 2020 that is why at that time I had enough time to find a job and luckily I found a job uh, in the current company that I'm working for as a mortgage underwriter um, I worked here for almost two years I think I also think like uh, wonder you guys wonder what is mortgage and mortgage underwriter is just like uh, related to finance and when you apply for home loan and underwriter will approve or deny your your loan your mortgage then uh, thank you for your listening hi guys so welcome back to the Q&A session okay so Simeon, uh, people are asking that, did you take a IELTS or TOEFL test when you came to Korea? Yeah, I think like uh, before, actually the scholarship itself, it doesn't require English okay. proficiency, but like in order to strengthen my uh, application, I okay. took IELTS. IELTS, you took yeah, IELTS? Okay. Yeah, I took IELTS. So let me add into it that 
generally when it's an English speaking country, for example, India, so even though India's official language is not English, but English can be considered one. So most of the universities in India teach in English. So I guess you don't need IELTS or TOEFL when you're coming to Korea because officially it's an English recognized university. And we have another question. What is the best university in Korea for MBA program? So I personally recommend SKKGSB uh, because like all classes, I in English and profess, uh, professors, they are really nice, really like down to earth and they are there to help you to like not only about your study life, but uh, sometimes they can heal your mental health. And also according to world rankings uh, in Korea and also in the world, Tungingan University is one of the top post universities for the MBA program. So I, I mean, we would definitely recommend that university if, you're, if you want to pursue your masters. And People are asking, how did you learn Korean easily? How was it? Was it hard or was it easy? How was it for you? Uh, it was hard in the first one month because like, uh, I didn't even know un, 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 something Ika and then uh, luckily like I travel a lot at the time okay. and somehow when people speak in Korean, I can oh, learn a bit about their pronunciation. Okay. And because I myself, I know a little bit of Chinese and some, somehow Korean and Chinese is related. So like, I think I get it quite okay. quickly. So her tip is travel a lot when you're in Korea. Yes. So when you travel a lot, you pick up some words and it's easy to communicate. And there's another question. Engineering is one of the best courses to take up in Korea. Is environmental engineering course a good choice to take up in Korea? So yeah, engineering is definitely a good course that you can take up in Korea. But the problem with it is in, in Korea, not many institutes or universities offer English courses. So it can be a big problem for you because most of the engineering courses are fully in Korean. So unless you're ready to take up the challenge, I would not suggest you that. <laughs> okay, can you name, can we apply for global MBA program through K KGSP scholarship? Can yeah. you apply for that? Yeah, of course, because like I myself uh, come from KGSP, so like uh, what, whatever major, uh, whatever university that you want to apply for, you can do it. <laughs> Okay. Just like uh, you either have to choose embassy track or university track, it depends on your uh, decision to apply for. Can we do part-time jobs through G? Okay, course in like uh, of course you cannot like because like we divide it into two parts. First part is uh, language school. Second part is the master degree that I study for language school. We have different type of visa. It's totally a uh, big no no that you cannot work okay. at any like type of work that you have to but like for the master degree we can because like at the time we work as TA yeah to help school but not as the part-time job like in the shops or other things okay so I wanted to ask another question so to apply through the scholarship do you need a good grade a good CGPA uh, yes, there is some uh, guideline that you have to have at least 80% over 100 to apply for these scholarships and you have to have uh, at least two recommendations from professors. Also, the, you have to write personal letter. It's just like motivation letter why you have to apply for this program. Okay, so someone was asking what is the best university for music? and if they can take their major as singing, singing as a major. So I would say, yeah, they can definitely take up singing as their major at universities. Uh, but since we don't specialize in music and neither of us know much about it, we would not for sure tell you which university is the best. Uh, but yeah, I guess you can just search for more Korean universities according to different fields and then you find the answer. And. Uh, Okay, so someone was asking if they ask which one you like, K-pop or K-drama, which one would you like? Oh, I like K-drama more than oh, K-pop. Oh, drama. <laughs> yeah. And but this day I still follow K-pop either. K-pop? Oh. Blackpink, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> so all the K-pop fans out there, she's a K-pop fan too. <laughs> and an interesting fact, as she has already mentioned, Sung Kyun Kwan University is known to have many great and famous actresses and actors. Mm -hmm. So many like famous K-dramas are shot at our university 
And uh, yeah, I guess you all know Song Joong Ki, Cha Eun Woo, and then Crystal from FX. Yeah. And then yeah, all these famous personalities go to Song Joong Ki University, and I've been alumni of the university. So that can be considered a plus point for all the drama fans like us, right? Okay. So. Okay. So there are people asking how about the fees. Fees in, yeah, in, in in general. In general, how how about the tuition fees? Not not specifically KGSP, right? not uh, SKKGSP, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. In general, I think like around less than five thousand US dollars per semester, I think. Okay. But like because SKKGSP is some extraordinary, the tuition fee is much more higher than other schools. Yeah. So one suggestion is that if you want to pursue your masters, we would suggest you to go through a scholarship because even though Sun Kyung Kwan University is considered the topmost university in Korea, it is quite expensive. Yeah. So we would suggest you to go through the scholarship. So in case you don't get a scholarship, the other ways are like as we did a teaching assistant and research assistant. So this is this is a, a form of scholarship for us. So it helps us to pay a small amount of our semester fees. So don't be disappointed if you don't get the GKS scholarship because there are other scholarships each university provides you with. What percentage of scholarship did they give you? Uh, like because it's Korean government scholarship is fully funded and totally hundred percent scholarship. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Even uh, tuition fee, monthly allowance, and I got fifty percent of dormitory oh, allowance. Okay, so they give you like they pay our tuition fees and they give even you even flight. Oh, they they even pay yeah. the flight. Oh, okay, got that. <laughs> so isn't it so cool that you get? You get to the scholarship. They pay your fees. You can get to live in the dormitory, and at the same point, they give you an extra pocket money, which you can survive happily with over here. Yes, travel uh, a lot with that allowance. Travel a lot with that allowance. Yeah, that's good. Okay, someone wanted to know: uh, Do they need, do like, do they need to know Korean language, like at least a little bit, to study in a university? Uh, in SKKGSB, no, because the courses are totally taught in English. Mm -hmm. But like in other schools, somehow I think there's a kind of mixture between Korean and English. It depends on which school you want to go to. Okay. Uh, what exam do we have to take to get into a university? Um, at that time, I think when we applied, we didn't take any exam. But just like application and uh, the reason why you join SKKGSB, also uh, I had Skype interview at that time, and they will decide it like uh, if that students are eligible mm -hmm. to join the university. So one suggestion I would love to give you guys is that when you are applying for a university, a Korean university in general, uh, you need to make sure that your essays, like where you write your five short answers or long answers about why you want to study in Korea and why you want to study in this particular university. This is one of the most important thing. And then apart from it, the interview. So there will be one person who's going to take the interview. And then I'm pretty sure that if you kind of like Pass the interview, then you can get a good score to get into that university. I remember, like at the time, I did the uh, school interview, and okay. the first question, like our current dean, okay. he, he asked me, like, uh, why you want to join SKKGSB, and why th why is Korean? Because like there's a lot of countries that you you can go to, and I said like, oh, because uh, it is located in Southeast Asia, I I feel closer to my country, and she's he said like. There's Singapore, there's Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Why Korean? I like Korean drama. I like SKKGSB. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Try to impress the university. Okay, so do we need to take topic to study under the SK uh, GKS scholarship? Mm, no, like uh, as I mentioned earlier, I before I came to Korea, I have no idea what is Korean language. I'm totally totally zero. But like the language school, one year here, the teachers they are so how to say so helpful. They are so talented to teach you that uh, from the beginning until the current education that I got. Okay, so is work experience required for MBA in South Korea? Um, I think so because 
because I'm currently working in finance industry and um, I can, cannot say like 100% work is related to MBA but at least uh, the critical thinking, the finance skill, the accounting are apply like some part of them applying to my current job. Okay, but in my case, I didn't have any work experience when I joined my MBA <laughs> program, but which was quite like a new even to the university because everyone was telling that I was the only one in the SKKGSV like history, I guess, that who didn't have any work experience, like not like nil. Mm -hmm. I never had any work experience. But then it depends on the academics and the interviews and the essays which I gave. So yeah, so I would definitely agree with that. Work experience is definitely needed. Yeah, it's pretty somehow. like the chances of you getting into an MBA program without work experience is kind of low. So yeah, that, that's what we would suggest. And then about the jobs, what do you think the job opportunities are for fat or like for foreigners like us? How do you think the ratio is? Uh, I think it's cannot say it's difficult but also cannot say it easy as you know like even Korean people themselves is they are so hard to find a job how about us as a foreigners but at least there are some how some space for us to find a job uh, for example like uh, maybe they require Indian to oh. work in that company or they require Cambodian to work in that company so they can make a connection between Korean to Cambodian like this so uh, as long as you try hard, you will find one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so when it comes to job opportunities for like the major fields like medicine, engineering, uh, we would say that the, there are not many that if there are not many job opportunities if you are not fully versed in Korean language. So if it's engineering, if you're really good at Korean, then you might have different job opportunities. But I would not say the same for medicine because uh, you need to take up the whole course in Korean. So it's kind of hard for a foreigner to come over here and do medicine. Yeah. But there might be some slight chances for you to do that. So, um, And then, am I eligible to apply for KGSB in 2022? As oh, an yeah. undergraduate, yeah. I get high school. Uh, um, actually, the uh, application process for undergraduate and master degree mm -hmm. is quite different. But as I know a little bit about the undergraduate, it's like even though you're not yet, uh, how to say, totally graduated from the high, high school, school. Mm -hmm. but you can apply it first and owe them your transcript. And after that, you can just... Uh, give them all your transcript and certificate later on if oh, you okay. pass the uh, process because in during the program selection of uh, KGSP or GKS you have to pass three uh, processes in order to fully get a scholarship. So basically you can apply for the KGSP or GKS scholarship in the final year of your high school mm -hmm. or if you're applying for a master's in the final year of your undergrad. And yeah, you can apply for uh, yeah, when you're in the final semester for bachelor's degree. And what are scholarships which we can apply with GKS? Uh, is it okay to have a year gap? Oh yeah, is it okay to have a year gap while pursuing MBA? What do you suggest? Uh, I think it should be okay to have a year gap for MBA, uh, just like me. Mm -hmm. I work for three years first okay. and then I pursue MBA in Korea, like that's totally fine. And her experience just like fresh, no experience and join the uh, MBA program, program directly. Yeah. So I, gra under I graduated from my undergrad in 2019 of May and then 2019 of August, I was in Korea doing my master's. So I was quite packed and uh, what was the next question? What was the most difficult thing you experienced while studying? Ah, oh, for me it's like I have to stay late at night and get up early to go to school again. Like because like even though our school study only half day from nine to twelve, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of assignments, group assignment, individual assignment, and especially you have to do a lot of research and a lot of paper to read. Even though we have no, uh, we done need to write thesis okay but we have a lot of exams to prepare okay so basically when you're doing a master's or a normal undergraduate at korean university it's like you don't have free time 
you don't have free time during the day because you're so busy taking the assignments, researching, sitting in the library and studying, and then late night studying. Yeah. So basically, when you go to the school, you can see everyone, even at one o'clock or two o'clock in the night, studying. And you'll be the only one like, oh my God, why is everyone studying at this time? Because uh, let me tell you an, uh, an experience of mine. So I just joined MBA. From, I came from India, so I don't have the habit of studying late night. Two o'clock, three o'clock, no, I will be sleeping. But uh, So I went to the university because the university lights were on and all my friends were in the university. And I go there and see everyone was like literally having their beds, their pillows ready in the school, studying. And she was one of the persons who was sitting in the study room and like just being over there. So <laughs> no. it's kind of saying that education in general is quite competitive in Korea. So you need to keep on uh, learning new things and trying to keep up with that pace. And like, even though how long you prepare, one night policies still apply. Oh, oh yeah, one night policies <laughs> still apply. Yeah. And the next question. Okay. Does, like, does Korean company provide internships or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so do Korean companies provide internships? Mm, they, they do provide internship, but you have to find by yourself, uh, just like uh, summer internship, summer okay. vacation, you can apply for summer internship or winter vacation. But like, I think I myself would not recommend for winter internship because like our school have only three weeks internship. break. Oh, break. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, so is Korea expensive? Korean, uh, when I first arrived in Korean, I feel everything is expensive. Even the uh, kimbap or oh. mark, also expensive. But now I'm so familiar with the price, like, ilchomon, ichomon, it's totally fine. Just have it. <laughs> <laughs> so, considering from our perspective as a foreigners in Korea, we would say that Korea expensive. is is definitely mm. expensive because we are from Asia, right? Mm. So it's definitely expensive, but yeah, if you come through, if you come through a scholarship, yeah. then I guess you don't need to worry about Korea being expensive because the government is going to pay for all your needs. And uh, is MBA program completely in English? It's totally in English because I uh, before I chose uh, SKKHSB, I did a lot of research and hundred percent. Is in, is in English, even professor, they even graduated from United States, even though some professor, they are Korean, but all the classes are consistent in English. English, okay. So another point to be added is that since we studied in Sangkyung Kwan University, we would say that all our courses were in English. But most of the universities in uh, Korea for MBA don't take the courses in English. For example, Yonsei MBA. So there are only few classes in Yonsei where you can take the classes in English. And when it comes to Seoul Global MBA, there it's the same. So not all the classes are completely in English. But for our university, it was in English, so we were thankful for that. Um, what are the masters in Korea that are commonly studied? Uh, I think engineering. Engineering. In Korea, yeah, like either either IT or uh, construction engineering okay. is quite famous. So for masters, engineering and construction engineering, yeah, like we said, engineering is quite famous in Korea. So yeah, and easily to find a job in Korea too. Engineering, engineering, engineering. yes. Okay, wow. So I I would like to suggest because Sungkyung University is backed by Samsung. Uh, so Samsung has many engineering side companies. So if you would like to go into the field of engineering, you could apply to Samsung. And uh, did you both have hard time fitting in Korea? Uh, I would say no. Maybe first in the beginning one or two weeks. Okay. But later on, it it's totally. I was so excited because I met a lot of friends. Uh, like it widened my horizontal. Oh, yeah. we, we see a lot of new things that we didn't see in our countries. Okay. So one of the best experiences uh, we got to while we were studying in Korea was that we were living in our own country. We don't know what's happening in other part of the country. So we wanted to explore our horizons. We knew people, exchanged the cultures, exchanged language and yeah, I think that would be a great idea to study in Korea because we have different friends from different nationalities uh, and that would be a great idea. Uh, what's your overall experience? Yeah. Overall what's experience? 
fun but stress. <laughs> Work hard at the same time, play hard. Okay. So that's a good tip. Work hard and play hard. Yeah, just like we started uh, at school, like mm -hmm. weekday, we really work a lot until midnight. But we can every weekend we travel. We can hiking or we can travel to other provinces in Korea. Or you even can travel abroad now because of COVID. We cannot, but still back then we travel a lot. Okay, okay. Um, and then other question is. Did you apply for the KGSP through the embassy track? Yes. And how was your experience? Uh, my experience, like at the time when I applied for the KGSP, it's the, the KGSP program was not famous back then in Cambodia. And uh, there was not a lot of sources and not a lot of seniors that I can ask. And I think I prepared for at least six months for that program. I, lead, uh, I read a lot on the guidelines and the uh, requirement documents. And then I start to write, started to write my application, mm -hmm. uh, motivation, uh, like personal letter, and what's your plan after you join the program and the universities. Then uh, I chose embassy track because I can choose three university at that time. Like at least you have backup. Okay. <laughs> because university track you can choose only one university, but uh, embassy track you can choose three, and. Uh, luckily, I got the all three university. I passed all three of them. The first round is uh, you have to apply to the university, uh, to the embassy, and when you pass, they will uh, inform you to interview in the Korean embassy in Cambodia. And after that, you have to your application. They will send to the school. And then I had another interview with SKKGSP, and then. The last point is a uh, body checkup, like oh. that. Yeah, oh, the whole okay. body checkup. And uh, any advice to make things easier to apply for universities? Uh, I think, firstly, you have to think what university, uh, what major that you want to study. Okay, major. And, yeah, major you want to study, and then you uh, start to how to say it, uh, shortlist all the university like. They focus on what major, and look at their courses if it is interested. Then, uh, if it's require English or mixture between Korean and English. Okay. So, uh, if you are not selected in the GKS scholarship program, can we apply directly to the university? Uh, because the scholarship itself open only once a year, so you have to make decision. Either you have to apply through embassy track or university track. If uh, uh, fail, you have to wait for next year. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in my case, I did not apply to a scholarship, so I just directly applied to the university, and they gave me a ten percent of incoming scholarship. So, like every university has different scholarships available if you're not going to the GKS scholarship. So you need to keep looking at the scholarships available on the website of each university to know more about it. Okay, so in case you got rejected for your KGSP scholarship for the first time, can yeah. they apply again? Yes, yes, of course. Like, uh, they will not count how many times you apply, just like when you totally pass the scholarship and you reject it, mm -hmm. it's they will, I think they will not blacklist you, but like uh, they will note you down, your name down. Like, oh, that person already successful, got a scholarship. Why they reject my scholarship and now they reply again? It is the matter. Okay. So we will be asking one last question and then we'll be wrapping up, wrapping up this session. So do you guys have any more questions? Um, can... Do we need experience to pursue an MBA? Yes, you need experience to pursue your MBA most of the cases, but there are slight chances where you don't need experience too. Does MBA use a lot of math? Uh, it depends on majors. Major. Uh, on finance, you need a lot. Because like uh, you have to calculate all those, how to say it, uh, some interest. Interest. And somehow a lot of related to finance and what cost that interests me a lot is uh, venture capital and private equity. Okay. This cost interested me a lot and then uh, this cost also require a lot of math. 
one more thing is uh, M&A is merger and acquisition. It's going to help you a lot on your career in the future. Okay. So I guess the time's up and we will be wrapping up this session for today. And if you guys have any questions, please make sure that you can, d you can DM us directly and we're going to answer you. And we are very happy to have you guys attend all our study in Korea sessions and being so active and asking, asking us questions. So in case if we didn't answer any of your questions, please DM us and we will answer you. And if you would like to have any of these kind of sessions like study in Korea or Korean cultural exchanges, please don't forget to DM us. We are en round and we are going to listen to all your requests. And since you wanted to know more about Korea and study in Korea, we try to provide you with the services. So don't forget to DM us about your requests. Thank you guys. Thank Have you. a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.